Last year, I won this qualifier. But can I go back to back? And it was actually the best score that I had the whole entire year shooting a 68. But there were a lot of things that I did wrong. And that was the old way. Was just show up to the course, hit good shots, but I didn't have a course strategy. And we're in with the new way. What is the new way? Let's find out. Ta-da! Decade golf. So what is decade golf? It's all about your dispersion and you're like a shotgun. You're either gonna hit it left or you're gonna hit it right and occasionally you'll hit it straight. So it's all about having the right target. Even if you miss a little left, you're fine. And if you miss a little right, you're also fine. Because let's be honest, sometimes we don't know what shot's about to come out. But the reason I chose decade golf to eliminate the dreaded double bogeys. Bad. Real bad. So with tournament season coming up, one of my favorite times of the year, and actually why I even started making videos when I was thinking about it, I said, my core strategy has really been show up and see what happens. I've learned it shouldn't be like that. So I'm gonna show you how I've come up with a plan to go back to back and win in this qualifier. So let's go to the golf course. my PXGs. Now golf is already really complicated and you think that sometimes if I just had a few more birdies then I would have shot lower. But what if I told you it's actually the opposite. If I would have had less bogeys I would have shot lower. To lower your golf scores you got to have less bogeys. It's so simple but it's so hard. The target. What is the target? Target and where you start the ball is totally different. A lot of people want to flag hunt. Me. I used to love flag hunting. Instead, you learn exactly where you're gonna put yourself in the best position with the best target to create consistent scores and a consistent game plan. So it really is pretty simple. I mean, all you have is a system. Hit it where your dispersion is gonna be the best. So when I'm practicing, I know I'm gonna either miss left or I'm gonna miss right. So I gotta find exactly if I'm missing left or missing right more, to which then if I'm missing right more, I'm gonna aim a little bit more left and know that my target line is gonna be a little bit more left than where it's actually gonna end up. I mean, I just found it so interesting and I just wanna grow my game. It's a need. I love getting better. So this is a brand new season. And with a brand new season, comes brand new golf balls, the 2024 edition of the Vice. And they have actually included a brand new type of ball, and that is the Vice Pro Air. Golf ball has changed just a tad. So the Vice Pro Plus and the Vice Pro. We're gonna start out with these because these are very similar in a lot of ways. So the Vice Pro Plus has more dimples on the golf ball, which means it's gonna spin in the air a lot more. This means that you need to have a higher club head speed to really create that spin and create a left to right movement or a right to left movement. This is the ball I played for almost the last year. And then we have the Vice Pro. It's a little bit softer when it lands and the feeling off the club face is a little bit softer. And there it is, the Pro Air. So the difference between this is that this is gonna have a little less spin. I don't really like a lot of spin on my driver because it can just kind of get away from me. That is why I have started to play the Pro Air because it has that soft core like the Pro. However, it's got less spin on the trajectory of the shots. There's only one thing to do now, and that's to have vice golf balls, and let's win this qualifier. So that's what I can do here at the TPC. So let's go back to my office. This is tough. I'm not good at arts and crafts. Voila, a self-made yardage book. And it's, is it backwards? It's backwards. Yeah, I messed this whole thing up. Hey, yardage book. Yes, I've never really used one of these. I've had them before, but I've never really deep dove into a yardage book, even though this is so messed up. I'm gonna have to go through here and do this all again. But you can do this online on Google Earth. Ultimate cheat code if you've never played a golf course. I just didn't know what the heck I was gonna do with it. I just kind of looked at it and was like, okay, yeah, I saw that in the practice round. It's whatever. 285, it shows me where I would be at 285. It's kind of elite. So you can do this on Google Earth. If you don't want to do decade, it's whatever. I just did it because I want to become better. So hole one is right here. That bunker on the left 
is 270 to the center. So what is it to carry? Right at 280. So 280 and then the right one is 260. Now there is OB on the right side. You can tell there's a road right there. So you don't want to mess with OB. You got to be at least 35 yards, which puts your spread to about right here, to about right there, and then close the shape. So this would be my target line right here. We would come straight through here. And you know, if I miss a little left, I'm gonna be in the bunker. But if I miss, but if I miss a little right, I'm gonna be in the fairway. And then that would leave me with, let's see. And we're looking at 200 yards into the first hole for a par five. With a qualifier, you don't have to go crazy low. You just can't make stupid mistakes. And a stupid mistake would be hitting it OB on the first hole. That's why we got to make sure we are a little left on this first hole. If I faded a little bit too much, it's fine. It's going to be in the fairway. So you can do this throughout every hole. Crazy. Like you can do this course homework right here. So for me, I made the yardage book and it actually tells me exactly right there. If you can tell my printer did an awful job, but it has little rings right there telling me at what it would be at 285, 255, 225. So what I'm gonna do is actually go through here and map out exactly on every tee shot where I need to hit this target. So the difference between just marking your target before you even show up, I mean, it's just like on autopilot. That's what we're trying to get our game to. Super simple, get it on autopilot. You stepped up there, you already know where you're supposed to aim. Now you just hit the shot. You don't get up to the tee box and it's like, ah, uh, I think I need to hit a, a iron off this tee or I need to hit a driver. Ooh, there's OB on the right. Maybe I need to go, go a little bit more left. When I go to play my practice round, I will see if anything has changed, know exactly where I'm gonna hit every tee shot before I even show up. It makes everything a lot more simple. So now all we gotta do is do the practice round. Ta-da! We've made it here. We are here at the Monroe Country Club. I'm gonna be super present during this practice round. So what we'll do is just putt balls from the center of the green. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I used to kind of get frustrated at people that did this because I was like, come on. If there was somebody in behind me, I'd be like, come on, who wants it more? The person who's actually out here grinding and expecting anything or the person who just wants to play a practice round and get it over with. They wonder why they weren't as good as they could have been. I kind of want to share this tip because I saw this, I was watching the Masters yesterday and Max Homa had 17 pars and one bogey. Now you may be like, ooh, that was a mediocre round. However, he didn't really make any mistakes. He was hitting good shots, he just didn't make any putts. But you know what? Max had a chance on Sunday to hoist the trophy. Now will he do it? I don't know because this is actually Master Sunday right now when I'm recording this. I don't know who's going to win. But you know what? I'm not even watching because I'm out here grinding. It's the year of the sandbagger. The best golfer I can this year. And I urge you guys to start practicing. Get out there in tournaments because there's nothing like it. It's going to be fast or slow, then fast. So that's in. If it goes, <laughs> tap in, par, you move on to the next. Making putts from the center of the screen down to where it could be. Uh-oh, I got a blue mark here. This could be it. Also with this practice round, I'm taking it very light because I don't want to wear myself out. That's one of the worst things you can do is to have like a super grind session. You think you're getting better. The grind should have already been done. You're just out here picking your targets, make sure your target's right and pretty much just chilling and just, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's a reason I went a little aggressive on that driver swing and that is this is one of the longer holes and there's really not much trouble. So I wanted to be aggressive with this tee shot because that is where you're gonna gain a shot on this hole. So there's a book I've been listening to. Scott Fawcett actually recommends and that's The Art of Learning. And it's talking about how to get in that zone more. And it's all about kind of routine and doing the same thing over and over again to where you feel present. So it's all about feeling present when you're learning. I feel like I'm a little Kung Fu ninja boy because that's kind of what it is about. It's this guy who 
mastered chess and then he mastered Kung Fu or Tai Chi. Like you can't get out of the moment because if you're out of the moment, you start thinking ahead or you start thinking behind. So that's why it's so powerful when you're learning is because you learn from your mistakes, you do. You can also see exactly when you're in the zone, what's going on. Now I'm done. Now there's only really one thing to do and that's to rest, get ready for tomorrow. I'm excited. First qualifier of the year. Time to start it off with a bang, baby. Let's freaking go. So I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video, baby. The qualifier. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker.